guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia and this is another video dedicated to design objects. Today I want to share with you a small history that stands behind the creation of the armchair San Luca by the brothers Achille and Pier Giacomo Castiglioni. So, if this topic is of your interest, then keep on watching. The armchair San Luca was presented for the first time in 1960 at the Exposition Triennale di Milano and became one of the biggest icons in Italian design history. The creation of Achille and Pier Giacomo Castiglioni, the famous Italian brothers, with unreleased aerodynamic shapes almost futuristic, arose huge success at its launch. At first sight, the armchair San Luca recalls an antique seating. Front side, it seems to be a baroque armchair from the 17th century with a certain futuristic Bocconi flair. The union of concave shaped panels confers a spaced and aerodynamic aspect, a witty paradox of the Castiglioni brothers' design. Being revolutionary, the San Luca became a reference of inspiration for future armchairs. Instead of creating a solid structure to upholster afterwards, the Castiglioni brothers thought to create pre-shaped panels and pre-upholster them, make ready to be fixed to a metal structure, applying the same technique used in the production of seatings for auto vehicles. It was made with a final input to ease its serial industrial production process. The seating, the backrest and the lateral sides were all made from metal and covered with polyurethane foam of various density. Feet were used in rosewood. The original armchair San Luca was produced by Gavina in 1960s and afterward by Knoll from 1960s until 1969. It was available with leaning in leather or cotton. In 1990, Bernini took over its production in leather, in red or black, under the supervision of Achille Castiglioni, which made some small adjustments. Well, since 2004 and until today, the armchair San Luca is produced by the Italian cult company Poltrona Frau using more modern materials, yet maintaining its original design, shape and size. The solid structure is made from a series of separate elements in birch plywood and blocks of beech tree and poplar, which are afterward assembled together. The feet are in massive ash tree, finished venge or canaletto walnut. The lining of the armchair San Luca and of the poof Luca is proposed in leather frau, which can also be be color. Recently, in occasion of the celebration for 100 years since the birth of Achille and the 50 years since the death of his brother Pier Giacomo, but also in the memory of another great name in the design world, Max Huber, the company launched a limited edition version with leaning in an original fabric designed in jacquard on the drawing of Max Huber from 1968 named Geophysical Waves. Available in two colors, white background with black lines and black background with white lines, feet are proposed in a massive ash tree finished venge. This timeless armchair is a desirable piece of statement for every design lover and it is also a definition of the lifetime of the 21st century. Nowadays, Poltrona Frau is proposing the armchair San Luca upholstered in different leathers and also fabrics and with feet made in solid wood in two finishes, in venge and also walnut canaletto. That was all about this beautiful armchair named San Luca, which we can have it today in our homes and enjoy it. It's a timeless design piece that is beautiful by its shape, it's beautiful by design and it will never go out of style. So that was it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this dedicated to timeless design objects, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and we shall see each other on the next videos. Take care in the meantime. Ciao! Mwah.